been a while since I had the 890 out. <clears throat> Can't tell. Got a couple upgrades already. So I've got the uh, little windscreen extender, I guess. Uh, that's a $40 Amazon special right there. And uh, <coughs> boy, that pays off in spades right there. Being that I use this a lot for commuting, it uh, it has helped a lot with the buffeting on the helmet. So that's a very good purchase. I did break down and bought. Now hold on a second. Got to concentrate here. Icky mud, icky mud, icky mud. This is cool. Not yet, but I will in a second. That's kind of cool too. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Never even knew it was there. Was that there before the red bridge? Like, why would that be there? It must have been there before the red bridge. Well, I, <coughs> I would think so. Um, I think it was used primarily for... Well, because red bridge is still up here, isn't it? Right there. That's a red bridge? Yeah. But before the bread, bread Huh. It's pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Like, I wonder if it was for uh, rail or... Salt. I'm going to guess logging, because the rail went out to Monte Cristo. Well, yeah, they had rail, Stephen rail, too, on the tram system. I think it was rail on. Yeah. There's, up here, I think there was some sort of government thing up here. There's a right right, right there. Yeah. But farther down, past all those houses on the opposite side of the river, um, it continues on to um, some place. It's of course overgrown now. And oh, of course, yeah. Through, let's go down here to the wash out. Okay. It's a nice, very short road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as I was saying, so we got the extender. I broke down and I bought through Rocky Mountain ATV they got the uh, reverse thread adapter so I ordered that and then I had to order this one to bring it up to the same height as this one so I put my double take mirrors on and of course the hippo hands here which eh, I don't know if I'm real excited about them I mean they're okay but still want the heated grips but I ordered the heated grips and lo and behold they're on back order until March I don't need them in March, I need them now. Oh yeah, that's some gushy, gushy mud. So that was a road he was talking about. That's overgrown now. So when I ordered these hippo hands, <clears throat> I actually wanted the smaller ones, but I'm sure you can guess what happened there. <clears throat> Not available, they were sold out. So I ended up <clears throat> getting the biggest ones they got. Um, like I said, they're okay. I'll, I'll use them primarily for uh, commuting. This is my first ride with them, so it's my first experience but uh, these big ones here there's a uh, one glaring downfall and that is when you try to stand up they're they're too deep and the other ones are you know like maybe come to here and they don't have this little elastic whatever around it um, so they're more of a 
adventure bike style wind guard. I mean, like I said, these are horrible and they're gonna be uh, work well for commuting. But for doing this kind of stuff, if I wanna stand up, it's, I mean, it won't prevent me from standing up, but it is gonna be a bit odd. Oh, look at this. Anyway, so what else did I do to this? So, I, I didn't have it for a month. Oh, look at that, the duck. Because I found a, an oil leak. So it's been in the shop. They confirmed the oil leak, but they had to order some seals uh, under warranty. And uh, it took a month for the seals to come in. The left there, there's a trail, and it goes just right over there to this really cool camping area. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's like nice campfire, nice, nice place. Yeah? Um, Good place to camp. Well, I would, I would assume right next to the river. Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice there's all these little rock, rocks that are placed along here, like trying to keep somebody out long, long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who put them there or why, but we'll see him. <laughs> yeah, that's the rocks he's talking about. Got going on there. It was an old bridge or something? So it looks like. And that's something. And this is a washout. That is a hell of a washout too. Oh, is this the one that you walked that one time? Yeah, my uh, two-can boot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. All those people with those houses down there have no way to access them anymore. Yeah, that kind of sucks, huh? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of it
Wow, that was an old bike. See, now I was up here yesterday in the truck. If you want to see the results of that video, go to Adventures with Bounder 97. Anyway. A lot of people up here today compared to yesterday. Certainly a lot colder up here than yesterday. Certain rain. And snow levels here already. Yesterday it was not. It was much higher yesterday. Ooh, that is cold on my face. of people up here today. Oh, and it's starting to snow already. Alright, I think this is going to be it. Little triangle here saying that it's icy. As if the snow doesn't give that away. This has got to be one of the best forest roads we have in this area. Oh, hello. Sorry, this one looks even better.
Yeah, she's getting cold. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. I think this is it. This is going to get worse from there. But you know what? That's another good picture though, isn't it? So, <clears throat> obviously you can see how much is being logged up there. Yeah, when, <clears throat> when I was here last, they were moving all the equipment down in here. So, I'd, I'd like to at least find out what's going on there. Yeah, hopefully they didn't get up too high. Yeah. And just like that, temperature went down again. It's starting to warm up a little bit. So this is cool what they did is they're, thin, they're thinning it out rather than just cutting it all down. Yeah, I like that much better. Yeah, so this must be the Forest Service doing. I Good. they're doing that for fire reasons. Yeah, right. Yeah. Especially with the uh, uh, residential down toward the bottom there. Makes sense. 